Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu endlich dem zweiten Part von Telltales Game of Thrones. Ich hatte meinen PC neu aufgesetzt. Dadurch waren meine Speicherstände halt weg. Heißt, ich musste erstmal wieder an den Punkt spielen. Und jetzt bin ich an dem Punkt und jetzt geht's endlich weiter. Alles für dich, Katja, alles für dich. Because I love you. So yeah, let's continue our journey. Ethan? Ethan! Das ist unser lieber Ethan. Find him. Could you? hides too well and if he was smart he would reveal himself i don't like this game anymore maybe something happened to him ethan's fine Aww. he's just forgotten this is a game i'm here it's okay es ist don't worry. natürlich eine sehr traurige reaktion weil like sein it. vater tot ist und sein bruder ja auch gone. i thought we'd never find you again I'm oh. right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. Poor thing. I wish Nero was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. That's is Game of Thrones. You can't say promising. got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? <laughs> and he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. He taught Roderick and Asha, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Ha, ah, they're so sweet. Remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Would Asha. be bad if something happens to them. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you Valid. won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. Valid statement. Give him all the sweets. As long as you still can. You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. 
We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. Es ist nicht schön, so früh in die Rolle gepusht zu werden. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Ah, Lord Whitehall. The bastard. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger oh, into his heart so myself. I hasse ihn. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The foresters finally get their due. Oh. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oath breakers. Aye, and look where that got him. A North Boy. bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no bread and salt? Ich möchte höflich bleiben, weil es eine gute Idee ist. Amateur. Aber no eigentlich. Courtesies. I should have expected as much. <sighs> Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Yeah, look who's there. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason? Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men? And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the... Lord of this house. Your men attacked and drew first blood. They murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking cat who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me. Who's the one who did it? You heard me. He was sent to the wall. It's done. What? It's done. That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. Ich kann dir den Coward nicht What bringen, kind of weil er ist bei... Is A house of honorable men. He's on the wall. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? That's right, teacher. I mean him. no disrespect to you, my lady. 
considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over! It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Lighthill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Ash, leave us here. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. Oh, I'll send him a raven of... letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see who. I did word not is lie. Lord. He's at the wall. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. I I maybe should not have done that, but, but dude. <sighs> Und deswegen sollten wir die Boltons loswerden. Your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Ich würde gerne dass Ramsay nicht arrived, bitte. Your sister can help us. Yeah. Although just a handmaiden, King's she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady yeah, Marjorie's Mira. betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. I freue mich so sehr, Mira zu spielen. My favorite. My favorite Forester. Um, ich bin ja nicht sehr weit gekommen. Ich habe, glaube ich, bis Staffel 2 gespielt oder dann aufgehört. Um... But she's nice. She's fun. I love her. She's such Ashes a sweetheart. Do you remember him? What a strange place, Essos. Yeah, ja, for Essos is Westeros Even strange. For me. Cute. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. Oh yes, it was. It once belonged to Lady Elena. <gasps> Dann ist es ja noch mehr precious, cause Lady Olena is the best. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Such a sweetheart. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. I also hope you get to see them all. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Sonst noch irgendwas? Na, ja, ist ja gut. One moment. Oh, sorry, my lady. Oops. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Ich liebe die Fashion mit der Weste über dem Kleid. Es hat echt was. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you're right. 
If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... Oh. House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. It's kind of him. Good night, milady. Good night. I forgot your name, but right now you're the coal boy. So, good night, coal boy. Hello, Marjorie, my queen, my love. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Of course she did. It's, it's fucking she Cersei. She was very pleased with herself. How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens. That you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know. But she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. Uh. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. Is this so typish I knew for I Cersei? could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Ja, ich hoffe, dass ich nicht falsch antworte. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. I try. I try to not be honest. Good luck. Thanks. Give my bestos. You can do this. There's Cersei, my love, and Tyrion, my love. <laughs> Cersei, my love, wenn sie nicht so fucking paranoid wäre und ich jetzt nicht extrem aufpassen müsste, was ich sage. Look at her! Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, 
Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Ah, ich liebe es, dass sie die ähm, originalen House is a Northern House Voice Actors haben. To the King. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. Ah, sorry. The girl did name Joffrey as the one true king. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Yes, your grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey, if it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forster Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. I seem to please her, at least. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Das, was er sagt. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. Madame. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Ich hatte hier opinions. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Oh I'm God. sure she Let would... the girl answer the question. My loyalties would never conflict. Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she I'm can sorry! Games. Who do you choose? Oh, God. I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. Clearly, your handmaiden does not have her priorities. I'm straight. sorry! But she is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. God damn it, please get out of my face. I like you in my face, like but not now. If I may. I'm of so course, sorry. Your Grace. I'm so sorry. Please don't side at me like that. Do I did did I do wrong? Yeah.
I'll walk you out. Thanks, at least someone who's nice. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crown. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. As you should. And of course she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. As you we should. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? That's a Tyrion I love. It may be far too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her. Yeah! Three yeah. beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Mein Lieblingsteil von Tyrion, einfach Lieblingsära, generell Staffel 2, 3. I love it. Ah, es, es ist schön in King's Landing zu sein. Es ist zwar ein Vipernest, but still love it. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Yeah. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Ah, Sarah, what? Sarah, it's a it's And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. It's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Mm, ich wünsch Joffrey is. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Nein. He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. <laughs> well, I would marry him. Imagine the power du you have in the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well... I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. 
Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. Sorry. I'm just glad it's over. Same. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. Mm-hmm. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Ask. I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown... Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. That is no small request. Especially now. I know. But please, my Joffrey family... Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Marjorie, my sweet, sweet... Queen, I love you. Thank you. Und Sarah, don't be like that. Aber, das ist gut. Hier ist ein Speicherpunkt. Hier stoppen wir erstmal die Aufnahme. Weil es ist bereits über eine halbe Stunde. Und ja, mal gucken, wann ich die nächste aufnehme.